What is up guys and welcome back to 10 baggers today I'm going to be talking about natural gas company Tellurian Inc, which I covered in a previous video over the summer The stock is up 70% uh, Since that video came out and in this video today I'm going to talk about why I'm even more bullish on the company So if you're interested in figuring out why I think Tellurian is a great investment even after it's rose 70% uh, Stick around for the video so just a personal update, I had my second 10-bagger in the form of Tesla. I know, really original. But I'm happy to be on this journey of finding 10x investments with you guys. Let's keep on getting it done. All right, so let's jump in to what is going on with Tellurian. If this is your first time hearing about the company, uh, I have a video that I made over the summer on my bull uh, thesis for the company. Uh, but basically, it's a developmental stage natural gas exporter uh, from America. They have an amazing opportunity to build a pipeline in America, which will export natural gas around the world, uh, most likely mostly to Asia. However, the company is using a business model, which will require a partner investor in their project, um, which would be good for both companies. Uh, Tellurian currently has deals in the works, uh, most notably with um, Petronet in India. Uh, these uh, deals were put on hold. Our discussion about completing these deals were put on hold during the pandemic. And as a result of lower, lower demand or perceived lower demand, uh, Tellurian stock price plummeted from $7.50 a share to a low of like $0.60 cents a share. Um, I don't foresee natural gas becoming obsolete anytime soon. Although it isn't necessarily in a sexy industry right now, such as like if you just look at like renewable energy stocks are just going crazy parabolic right now um fossil fuel stocks are just not going to get that kind of respect um or that kind of they're not going to trade at those kind of multiples right now because it's just not people aren't viewing it as the future but the bottom line is that there's a tremendous value across the energy industry and i would say even more so the natural gas industry because Natural gas is not only used for heating homes, but I think that it will be a world, a very important resource in the world for the production of electricity in the future, especially as coal is getting phased out, which is quite frankly a necessity. Uh, and just, you know, I, I do care about the environment and I do believe natural gas is much better uh, for the environment than things like coal. Okay, so the reason why I'm making this video is because the stock was up uh, t almost 12% today. Um, on no news and high volume. So let's uh, let's just talk about what maybe happened. So again, it broke out and no news, high volume. And uh, first of all, the main catalyst for this, uh, and it's been on kind of an uptrend the last two, three months, has been skyrocketing Asian natural gas spot prices. First of all, it's, uh, it's a fact that Asia is the most likely location for... T um, for Tellurian's future partner. Prices are rising as fast as a effing Bitcoin right now due to supply shortage and a cold winter snap uh, that's happening over there. Um, just like my boy Suki predicted, there's just simply not enough production going on right now to meet the demand, the worldwide demand. And this um, sort of squeeze on the market isn't likely to slow down anytime soon. I mean, it might slow down because of um, weather getting warmer, but there's just not a lot of production going on right now. And I foresee maybe natural gas prices going down a little bit from here, but I don't foresee them crashing like they did in coronavirus anytime soon. Um, so <clears throat> the reason why a partner would be interested in um, joining the Tellurian project is because Tellurian will supply them with natural gas at a consistent price. This benefits both parties as Tellurian can be profitable at not that expensive of a, um, of a natural gas price while being able to supply the partner with natural gas at a consistent price and reducing their exposure to volatility in the sp uh, spot market, which will be very important moving forward as prices continue to be volatile due to the production shortage that has occurred throughout the coronavirus pandemic. It's just not that easy to ramp up production of a natural resource like natural gas on the um, drop of a dime. Important as we watch Asian energy prices, 
We had, you know, a low probably in Asian LNG market of $2 an MMBTU. That's already been strengthening. Um, and we see the, the winter prices now over $5 an MMBTU. $5 is a really, really important catalyst because we will deliver LNG into Asia at $5. So as the market recovers over that price point, there's a return on equity that supports those investment decisions. Suki recently stated on Bloomberg that he will be signing no more potential agreements like he did um, prior with Petronet. The next agreement that he signs will be a definitive agreement. What this means is the next PR that the company makes is going to be massive, massive news. It might even it might cause the stock to halt up and stop trading and gap up. Um, if if they announce the deal, the definitive definitive partnership the stock price is going to go back to where it was before coronavirus at least five dollars a share in my opinion and i'll include a link of suki talking about this uh on bloomberg in the video i also believe that <laughs> to be honest a biden win is bullish for the company because it is now allowing china to be a potential partner or at least perceived potential partner. I don't know if Tellurian is going to end up doing deals with any Chinese importers of natural gas, but under the trade restrictions that Trump encouraged, um, it was less likely that Tellurian was going to be able to do business with China. If Biden's able to open up trade with China, then Tellurian has a massive, massive potential market to export to. So why did Tellurian rise today? I don't know. I think that Market makers and major insiders know some information um, that the street hasn't gotten yet. I think that big, big money people are realizing that there's going to be a deal signed. Asian spot prices are skyrocketing right now. Tellurian is in a position to provide that market with a natural resource at a great price. And they're realizing that it's time to buy Tellurian. Um, if you bought when I made my first video over the summer on this company, you'd be up 70% right now. Uh, not a bad return for about, what, six months? So, again, I was bullish on Tellurian back then. I'm very bullish on Tellurian now with the way that uh, Sugi's predictions about the uh, spot price market have played out. And, I mean, today's price action and volume just kind of reiterate that statement. I mean, I'm just going to look here real quick. The volume, the average volume for this stock is... 6.95 million shares traded a session today uh, we almost tripled that in volume and that is a bullish sign for any stock it rose 12 percent on triple average volume so technically speaking there's a lot of positive things for tellurian right now now i just want to touch upon briefly where i think tellurian is headed um i believe that there is going to be a deal signed in the first half of 2021 and we are going to see maybe even before a deal signed we are going to see Tellurian rise up above two dollars a share when a deal is signed honestly the minimum I can see Tellurian gapping up to is five dollars I know a lot of people on the stock tweets board and elsewhere believe that Tell can be a 20 30 40 bagger I don't know I really I mean they have a massive potential a Energy is the biggest total addressable market of any industry. Um, so the sky is really the limit. I don't know at what prices I'd be selling Tellurian. I'd have to reevaluate. Um, but right now, I am not a seller of Tellurian. Um, I'm almost a buyer of Tellurian. I do think sometimes when we see sort of these smaller cap stocks run up on high volume, we do see kind of market make makers... Um, lower the prices uh, and allow for big boys to buy up shares like accumulate shares and you'll see some consolidation maybe a pullback to the one dollar fifty range if Tellurian goes under dollar fifty or even in the dollar fifty range I'm gonna be a buyer of Tellurian I'm gonna be averaging up at that point my average is one dollar it's actually a dollar and it's like 1.01 .01. I'm gonna be a buyer of Tellurian at 150 after today's price action I just think I, it just everything looks very bullish going forward, and I'm very excited to be involved in this company. To be honest, guys, I probably won't even think about selling a single share until Tellurian is at least $10 a share, and that would be my third 10-bagger 
very exciting stuff here. Um, all right, so uh, that's my opinion on Tellurian, and right now I am 1,000% sticking to it. Um, thanks for watching the video. Please like it if you did like it. Leave a comment uh, about what you think about Tellurian. And just a little shout out to my boys on the StockTwits board, Tell Gang Rise. Happy bagging, folks.